Prince George's County restaurant is apologizing after an incident that sparked demonstrations over the last month. A black man says a white owner of the restaurant told him he could not wear his I can't breathe shirt inside the business. News 4's Darcy Spencer spoke to protesters and has a response from the Fish Market restaurant. Black money matters. Black money matters. Demonstrators have been outside the fish market restaurant in Clinton every day for the last month. Shut them all the way down. Protesting after Daryl Rollins says one of the owners told him he could not wear his shirt that said, I can't breathe, inside the restaurant. I was, I was shocked. I was, it really bothered me. Activists got involved demonstrating to bring awareness to what happened and to push for people to boycott the business. Our biggest goal is to serve notice. Um, to businesses in Prince George's County that we are demanding respect. And if you don't respect us, this is what's going to happen. The family owned restaurant has been in business for decades. It's run by a couple. It's been closed for weeks since the protest started. Rollins said the wife apologized on behalf of the restaurant, but the owner who offended him, who is white, has not. This takes a lot of toll on you. I've have sleepless nights just thinking about it. The restaurant issued a statement this week saying it regretted the pain the incident had caused. Quote, we will make no excuses. There is no place for racism and bigotry in our world and certainly not at the fish market. We sincerely apologize and we hope that our sentiments are received with open hearts. The protesters plan to continue coming out every day for the foreseeable future, even if the restaurant reopens. It's another apology. And every time something like it, like this happens, we get another apology. But there's no tangible change because it continues to happen. The demonstrators also want to encourage people to spend their money at minority-owned businesses and those that support and respect the black community. Darcy Spencer, News 4. A spokesperson for the restaurant tells News 4 that the owner at the center of the controversy is dealing with a significant physical and mental health situation. She says the owners plan to reopen the restaurant.